What's going on, players and haters? It's your least favorite duels here, back with another video. Sorry if I'm shaking the the screen a bit, but um, I just wanted to go over. Um, we got a ultra rare dream ticket from the new box or uh, from the event that's going on the KC Cup Grand Tournament, and I just wanted to go through and um, show you guys some of my own personal opinions on what you should get. Unfortunately, um, this ticket doesn't cover stuff like the um, the selection box which is kind of meh because I was going to say immediately like get Stratos or um, stuff like that or I also had Chaos Dragon Levy and Nier as another one that uh, I think you should get but unfortunately it's not in this box but I will go through some cards that I think are viable either for now or for the future so let's get into it okay um, let me just see if Lancia is in here. If not, I will take it off my list. But I did not double check because I just do these videos on the fly. So let's see if Lancia is in here. It is not. Okay. So it looks like um, this ticket is only relevant for, um, from what I've been looking at right now, it's only up to Aerial Assault. So anything Aerial Assault and, and below is going to be something that you can buy. So let's go into the card pool. All right, we've got Scud here. So we're going to go to this card list. I'm going to take Lancia off, unfortunately. All right, so here's some of the cards that I picked. I know some of them are like obvious ones that you should get. So let's knock out the obvious ones. Canadia, you know, it's an all-around good card. It's playable in pretty much every deck. If you need a spot to fill, most likely you want to play Canadia. The same thing goes for Floodgate Trap Hole. Um, same thing, you know, it's playable in a lot of decks. You're missing a card, put it in. Uh, there we go. I think that's it. Where is where is this one at? Ah, dang it. Looks like no Rampage Dragon either. So, anyways, let's go, uh, besides those, let's go into just the other ones. Uh, here's another generic one, Cosmic Cyclone. Right now, if you haven't seen already in the, if you're not playing ladder, um, Hero's running around pretty crazy, which is insane to say. It's probably going to be like a tier one, anywhere from tier zero to tier two deck. Um, they're using a an equipped spell called, uh, I think it's called My Favorite Hero. It needs a field spell to use all of its crazy mechanics. So Cosmic Cyclone is a great way to remove the field spell or remove My Favorite Hero. So that way you're um, not having to worry too much about heroes. Although they can still OTK you through that, unfortunately. Anyways, uh, some other things that I think currently are still very viable you want to get up on your um, Black Wings. Black Wings is another pretty good OTK deck. You want to, if you do have to burn a ticket, Samoon, or if you're missing the Black Whirlwind, you want to stock up on those. Um, another one, too, that I th uh, think is going to be very good for future potential and right now is Alistair the Invoker. All around, it's a really powerful card. It allows you to fusion summon pretty much every single turn. You want to get three of these and probably two invocations so you stock up on that I'm probably gonna be the buy that I get with um, my ticket that's kind of where I'm leaning towards right now so um, some future oh and I forgot about magician navigation so uh, you know dark magician even though it got nerfed it's still I think a really good deck you know there's a lot of dark magician cards that still aren't out yet so I think even to this day right now like all it needs is another um, some more support again and boom it's back to the tier one deck again so dark magician some other cards that uh i think are very viable right now if you don't have a black rose dragon i suggest you get at least one this is uh if you are playing a synchro deck you always want to have an out to like a lot of boards black rose is a really great way to get rid of the board so always have at least one same thing with uh, Brionic, Dragon the Ice Bear. This is a um, non-destruction removal. And um, it's very easy to make. It's level 6. So that's another great way. That's for future. Um, another one that's really good right now is Vermilion Dragon Mech. It's a card pop. 
you know, same thing. It's played, you want to have at least one in your Blue Eyes deck. Um, it's, it's a good card. Unfortunately, I have three. Like, I got super unlucky with the, the selection boxes, and I pulled actually, like, six of them, but I ended up just, um, dusting them away. So, and then, of course, who could forget the big bad boy himself? No matter what, I still think Buster Blader is an awesome and great deck. You know, you gotta play these guys. You gotta have three of them. You know, you gotta play Buster Blader. If you are playing Buster Blader, you gotta have three of the big man himself. All right, now on to um, some future potential. So, we're gonna start off with Madrat. So, at some point, it's already been announced that Duel Links is gonna have XZ summoning. Uh, Noble Knight Madrat is probably one of the best at making level fours and level fives so he uh he's a gonna be a key component probably when xc summoning comes around so if you already have a bunch of cards already and you're just waiting farting around like this is a great get the next one too is going to be psychic weed dealer and um same thing when xc summoning comes out this could be like your level three guy he special summons when you have a level three on the field. If you do synchro into him, you can pop a monster, which is pretty handy. So he's already played in quite a few synchro builds. So it's not a terrible get right now, but there is some future stuff. Like let's say we get, um, which what I would really enjoy would be Burning Abyss. Ugh. Burning Abyss. If we get Burning Abyss, like this will be a good card to get. Um, another one too is Deep Sea Diva. Right now, like no one's really playing Mermails or Water or anything. But this card is like stupid insane um, in the TCG. And it, just a couple few things in Mermail support will m bring this card like it'll skyrocket. So that's another one for the future. Um, another one too is going to be Glow Up Bulb. Uh, it's a tuner that comes out of the graveyard. So, and it mills a card, which as more cards are added to Duel Links, there's a lot more graveyard play. So. Glow Up Bulb will be something to use in the future. It's a good extender. It's a tuner. So there you go. And then the last one as far as like just the normal stuff is going to be Ties of the Brethren. Um, this will allow you to um, summon a bunch of monsters from your deck. Also, uh, you have to pay 2,000 life points, which in certain decks with um, certain um, like uh, abilities, it's actually pretty relevant. So there is that. And then the final one that I was kind of peeking at is Stardust Dragon. Now, the reason why I put Stardust Dragon on here is um, you, we, we haven't seen any uh, Stardust Assault support yet. And I'm predicting, I'm not 100% sure, that at some point we're going to get the Stardust Assault uh, Dragon, just like the Red Dragon Archfiend, Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode. It's a mouthful. So there you go. That's pretty much my um, overall opinions. So, yeah, I'm thinking of getting Alistair. I only have one. I be, I play around with him in a lot of decks. Um, Alistair is going to be, like I said, the reason why I'm probably going to get Alistair is he still has a bunch of other fusion that aren't even in the game yet, which I don't know if they will. You know, because uh, one is a uh, Ultimate Providence, which is like a negate, banish, there's also one that's like a Kanadia that flips cards down, you know, so um, Alistair can also, since the package is so small, you only got to play six cards, it can go in a lot of decks, you know, five to six cards with three Alistair and then like two to three Invocation, You um, that package can fit in a lot, a lot, a lot of decks, so I don't think it's going to get hit again anytime soon either, so that's kind of like where I'm at. Um, something else that I just thought of too that like maybe could come back is um, let's see here. Unfortunately, like the pool is very small as far as like things that you can grab. Um, so another one would be like Regeki Break. Regeki Break is another like generic removal card, and then you also got stuff like uh, where is that guy at? Oh, there you go. Element Saber Malahue. Um, I think Element Sabers might make a bounce back again at some point as well. Especially with heroes coming around everywhere. 
And having a flip down to get rid of people's uh, equip spells is going to be pretty handy. So, because you can chain it to uh, my favorite hero to flip that monster face down and get rid of the equip spell. So that's another one. Um, but yeah. Oh, and then also rule of thumb too. Like you don't, um, when you are selecting your ticket, something that you don't want to do is, uh, which is actually kind of a handy thing that they added in for this ticket is if you go here, so let's go to the ticket, um, you scroll down, you can hit boxes. So that way you avoid getting anything, uh, avoiding anything that's farmable. You don't want to waste this ticket on something that you can just get by doing an event or getting a different ultra rare ticket to use it. Oh, and, and one last thing. I forgot about uh, Jet Synchron. That's another one that has future potential as well. If you're not watching the TCG, it's like stupid powerful in the TCG right now. So that's another one that like has some future potential. I don't know if I, I was like on the fence about Chaos Sorcerer. Um, if you don't have Levianir, this is like a good alternative. So Chaos Sor Sorcerer is another one. Um, some other ones that are like off the top of my head. Chocolate Magician Girl. Apparently with Yugi coming out, there's some Chocolate uh, Magician Girl support. So that's another guy right there. There is also, you know what? I'm actually, you know, I'm going to buy the ticket right now on, on, the, on the stream. And I'm actually going to get something that uh, I kind of want to get Scrap Factory because I really like scraps, but having one doesn't really do anything. I think I'm just going to get the safe buy, actually. I'm just going to get Alistair. Having two Alistairs, hopefully I get a third one, and then I'll be on my way. But uh, hopefully this helps you guys out as far as what to buy. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Deuces. Let's buy that bad boy and get out of here.